What comes across your mind when you think of a rich and wealthy person? Maybe luck. He was born to a rich and wealthy father. Or he would have worked his way to wealth, maybe. He might have married a rich spouse. And perhaps the most important thought would be, alas, if only you knew the secrets and ways to become wealthy like him. In this video, I am sharing a few of the ways you can start your journey to long-desired wealth and richness. So, brace yourself, watch, learn and implement. Most of us observe and try to copy lavish lifestyles of rich and wealthy people. Maybe that exotic vacation or much talked about marriage ceremonies or as tiny as the designer clothes they wear. You know what? Observing these things and trying to copy is not going to make any difference to your financial life. Instead, focus on their routines and habits. As the behavioral scientists say, find out a keystone habit and try imparting that into your life. Let's discuss some of these routines and habits. Being versus looking rich and wealthy. There is a vast difference between being rich and wealthy and looking rich and wealthy. Looking rich and wealthy is all about using branded stuff, external validations, and seeking pleasure from things and stuff. On the contrary, being rich and wealthy is all about internal validations, true understanding of needs and wants, acting consistently in line with set values. The rich and wealthiest in the true sense of the terms know this difference and act accordingly. Comfort and convenience over brands. The truly rich and wealthy always prefer comfort and convenience over style, trends and brands. Be it in clothing, commuting or any other day-to-day -day needs. E.G. Steve Jobs wore his unique turtlenecks costing less than $80 a piece. Warren Buffett still uses his same old car for his commute and lives in the same old house. For people trying to look rich and wealthy brands, trends and style take over most aspects including affordability in many cases. The latest model of smartphone. The brand new car launched by a leading automobile manufacturer. Having that designer dress that a leading actress wore in the latest blockbuster movie. Or even a two nights three days trip a colleague, friend or relative had and posted about it on Instagram. All of these become more important for them over everything else. All of these are fine. But nothing should cross the line of affordability, your values and even circumstances. Time over everything else including money. Time is a priority for rich and wealthy people. Always over money for sure and over many other things too. An average person might spend 10 to 60 minutes a day gossiping about people, places and every other thing that hardly matters to him being rich and wealthy. On the other hand, the rich and wealthy people make most of every minute out of the allotted 24 hours in any given day. They won't hesitate to spend money to outsource some routine work to someone else and use the time in more productive ways which would help boost their wealth further simply because they understand that time is the only among the various resources at their disposal, which is gone forever if not best utilized. No one can reclaim the lost time. Not even the most wealthy, most talented and most skilled person. Commitment and a punctuality. Rich and wealthy people are either in or they are out. In other words, they are either fully committed to any given thing or they are out of it altogether. There are no midways. If they take on a task, they'll find out ways to complete it, come what may. Contrary to this, average people mostly prefer midways. They give it a go at a few things. If it works, well and good, and it doesn't, even better. They keep hoping on from one idea to another without committing to any one of them. This is not only true in a particular aspect of their life. Instead, it applies to their life as a whole. Be it money, work, relationships, everything in short. The other striking difference between the two groups of people is their punctuality. This boils down to how much importance you give to time. As mentioned earlier, the rich and wealthy prioritize time and hence they are more punctual compared to average people. Taking responsibility versus blaming circumstances and other people. You would rarely find a rich and wealthy person blaming circumstances or any other person for any failure or anything not up to the mark. Simply because they take responsibility for each and everything in their life. They own their life. On the other hand, an average person blames either circumstances or other people for even the tiniest mishaps in their life. For example, if they reach late at the office, they blame the traffic jams on the way. They fail to accept that traffic jams are part and parcel of commuting. Instead, they should always allow for them and leave the home 5-10 minutes earlier. This blaming game and not owning their life aspect is evident in most areas of their life. This leaves no or very little room in their life for good stuff. Focus on building assets. Rich and wealthy people understand the difference between assets and liabilities. As differentiated by Robert Kiyosaki, the author of the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, an asset is something that puts money into your pocket at present or in future. 
On the other hand, a liability is anything that takes money away from you. Furthermore, they also understand the differentiation among assets. As Mr. Ron Malhotra explains, assets can further be categorized into lifestyle assets, operating assets, and investment assets. The average people don't bother understanding this concept of asset and liabilities and further the types of assets. They just go by their urges to allocate the money. Combining this lack of understanding with the urge to look rich and wealthy and the inclination to brands, trends and style. They stack up one not so good financial decision with another and many more. All this ensures they could hardly have the wealth they are hoping for. What's the remedy then, you might be wondering? Do you need to start changing everything discussed in this video? No, even if you attempt to alter everything, it won't last long. Instead, pick any one of them. And once you have picked, go all out implementing it. Leave no stones unturned. Over a period of time, you will find that changing just this chosen aspect will rub off on others too. Everything will start changing for the better. Comment which of the six ideas you're going to change in the comment below. Also, feel free to add any other traits you have observed among the rich and wealthy that I have missed in the video. Like and subscribing is always welcomed. And it's great if you can share the video in your circle. Join the WhatsApp channel if you like the ideas in the video and want to have such insightful contents on a regular basis. If you're watching the video on YouTube, the link to join the WhatsApp channel is in the description. If you are any other social media other than YouTube, just comment WhatsApp channel below this video and I will be happy to reply with the comment.